parallels, parables, or types and shadows. But before I get into them, I want to exhort you, exhort us with this, that don't, don't preface uh, things with uh, things like, uh, we all know this. Mm-hmm. I think that's disarming. Yeah. Because Paul the Apostle said, it's, it's not grievous for me to say these things that you already know, and for you it's safe, with, it's safe. meaning that we need to hear things again. Yeah. So there's, there, there's, no, there's no place or room in Christ in newness of life for presumption. It's like, well, we already know this. And it's, it, it, there's, a, there's a, the kind of a tone of devaluing what I'm about to say by saying, well, you already know this. And, and so I, I don't want to, um, to preface things like that uh, to take the edge or to take the power out of the, of, of the truth. So <clears throat> we were... Uh, we were all barren, uh, like Rebecca was, at 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 one time. Yes. There was, there could there was nothing nothing found nothing being received nothing being grown nothing there was there was no life in us at one time. And but now that we are in Christ, or we should say all those that are in Christ, there are two nations. Mm-hmm. There's two nations within within you. Thirdly, those who are in Christ have all experienced a, a struggle. It's not only just co, uh, happy coexistence between these, uh, these two nations. Uh, fourthly, one is loved and the other is hated. So here's the exhortations concerning these things. That we were all barren until the Lord did something uh, makes for a humble and a thank thankful people. Amen. So be, be give give thanks and rejoice that the barren land has has blossomed, and the there's something springing out. There's something has sprung up out of this this parched ground uh, that's called humanity. Um, something has been has been born. We would still be barren unless the Lord had done something about the about the condition. Amen. And about the two nations, I want to exhort all of us to think bigger than my new man and my old man. Yeah. Actually, the scripture doesn't, doesn't represent the old man and the new man with those words. It doesn't say my new man or my old man. It says the old man and the new man. Right. Always does. Yes. Now, I, I, I understand that, <clears throat> that the, the new man is representative of... of on the new birth that's taken place within me, but we need to think bigger in th- than in terms of my new man. It's not like he's been he's been hand- handed off and now see what what you can do with him and what I can do with him. He's representative of a nation, the same as the old man is representative of a nation that started in Adam. The new man is representative of a nation that is born in Christ, that of which he's the firstborn. And see, so how that, see the impact of how that um, changes putting on the new man and feeding the new man, walking in the new man, is it, it places us in our perspective in a nation. He's the firstborn among many brethren. Well, this is not just a personal matter. Although there, there's a personal aspect to it, Sure. But we've been brought in. We've been born into a, a nation. And thirdly, <clears throat> engage this battle, this struggle between these two nations, knowing that one man is corrupt and will never be anything else. And knowing that the other man is created after God in righteousness and true holiness, and can be nothing else. That's how the Scripture represents it. The mind, the mind of the flesh cannot receive the things of God. Can't do it. And it says the, the, old, the old man which is corrupt, not does corruptly, is corrupt. Well, of course he does corruptly, but it's because he is. He is corrupt. And John, in his epistle, he says, don't be conceived, or don't be, don't be deceived. He said, whatever is, whoever does righteousness he is righteous so the doing is because of the being 
And so the, the new man is created after God in righteousness and true holiness. And so as you engage the battle, part of the, part of the battle is distinguishing who's who. Is that, that, that's how, that, that's one of the tactics of the devil and one of the tactics of, of, of his henchmen and of the old man is, is disguising and hiding and working in the shadows and not appearing what it, what it really is. And so be, be engaged in this battle knowing that the other side is not going to be anything but what the world is. And lastly, I encourage you and exhort you to, as, as one was loved and one was hated in, this, in Isaac's house, um, to, to love, love the new man and to, to have no preference for the old, but prefer the new man, feed the new man, nurture the new man. I exhort you to think of, of this. These, these nations are within our house. You think of your being as a, as, as a house, like a household. Think of, how, think of, of hosting or uh, uh, giving hospitality to, the, to, this, to this new man, making things uh, uh, co commodious for, for him, making things, uh, arranging things and preparing things that are, that are uh, uh, welcoming, that are, that are nurturing uh, to him, that, that make the, the home make the house right for his work for who for who he came from in doing that it makes it makes things uncomfortable and unfitting for for the other but the the tables could be turned around and looked at the other way as well to make things uh, commodious for the old is make makes things makes things hard on the on the new man and so this um, these things you know we we have we talk about these things a lot uh, about the old man and new man and these the, the differences in in natures and I, I exhort you to not let these things become uh, become common uh, remember that these we what whatever we have we've been given we didn't dig these things up on our own by our own in, ingenuity they've been they've been given to us we haven't seen them because we were so smart We've seen them because they've been shown to us. And so I, I rejoice that we can see, um, you know, Jesus said all the, the scriptures, they all testify of him. So we can see him in these, uh, in these old scriptures. We can see Christ and, and the work that he's doing. Amen. So I open now for any comments that the brethren have.